Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to create the fragments or today we are going to learn about the fragments uh, this is basically not a regular video of the current series going on of the city guide application but this is uh, another additional tutorial uh, which is about the fragments as uh, i am getting a lot of requests about the fragments and also we are going to use the fragments in upcoming tutorials so i have decided to create video on the fragments first so in this fragment tutorial we are going to create as you can see i have created a switch over at the top at here and this switch uh, is currently on the on means uh, the switch is inside the activity and uh, the one is created inside the fragment so this is basically a fragment and when i am going to off the switch then we have this another fragment which is two and it is covering this whole portion and inside this fragment I have another fragment so I have created two fragments the first fragment is this one you can see and then I have another fragment which is this one the two and inside this fragment I have uh, created another fragment so how to place fragments inside fragments so this is what we are going to create uh, so let's get started stay home stay safe open android studio and i have created a new project in android if you don't know how to create a new project you can check the video link is in the description so this is a hello world let's delete this and the first for first one is we need to add a background color here so we have added a background color so uh, to switch between fragments we need to create some buttons so instead of buttons i am going to use a switch statement so you guys will also learn how to use this switch button in case if you need it to change its size simply write size and make it 18 sp we need to change its color so text color will be white so to add a trans uh, transparent effect you can deal it with here but i am not going to make it transparent okay it's white that's it for this color make sure it has an id which is switch 2 but it is switch 1 uh, because we have to place our fragments in here fragment basically contains some space you can create a fragment for the complete screen you can create a fragment for some text it's up to you basically fragments can be reused so uh, we can call the fragment in any activity so we will uh, we will be creating fragment inside a fragment so fragments are very helpful so drag a fragment over here you must create one. Oh, okay so uh, basically this fragment uh, if we are going to use some layout here and we will pass the fragment in it uh, it will not ask you to first assign some fragment to it okay now we have uh, we have to use our fragment here so this one so split view go to the split view and in here what this switch is saying okay it will jump to zero we are going to deal it shortly and now we are going to create a fragment here which will be width will be match parent and its height will be 5 600 dp in android in this fragment we have to mention the fragment the first default fragment in here otherwise it is going to show you the error so first of all let me add the constraints drag it below if you want to view the app bars uh, you can simply click on this show layout decorations and now you can see we have this app bar over here then it uh, we have a button and then we have our fragment okay let me make it constraint layout and zero again zero from the bottom zero and also zero from this side so it will cover basically whole width and height uh, after or beneath this from the top it should be 32 to add some space okay, now our fragments will be placed inside here but currently this one will uh, show the error if we are going to run this application so uh, let's create our first fragment create a fragment inside this java folder we uh, right click new and search for the fragment in here and create a new blank fragment so we are going to name it first fragment as you can see we have a bunch of already predefined codes so we don't need this it's a useless 
remove this remove everything instead of also remove this on create because we don't need this where we have this on create method in our uh, Java activity so if we need on create for our fragment we can use this but currently we don't need this delete it so only we are uh, we have left with our on create view so let me quickly show you what's uh, why I'm going to use this one so inside this activity we are going to extend the activity with the app compact activity and each activity will know or the Java file of each activity will know its XML file and to set the XML file we use set content view r dot layout dot activity main which is this one so to tell our fragment that which design we are going to use we have to create this on create view and when the view is created so make it at the top delete this one so we first have to tell our system that the layout we are going to use so this one is uh, this is just a random error when i am going to run the application it will be gone because we already have this fragment underscore first don't worry about this so, uh, this one uh, is basically this is the line we have to use to tell the design or to tell our application that this design we are going to use so to fetch all the features to fetch everything from this uh, design what we have to do is we need to create a view basically this view will hold all the elements of the design and then we can use find view by id and create hooks and so on so inflator dot inflate you can see inflator is basically a variable of layout inflator so it will include the layout of our application dot inflate we first have to go to the resources dot layout dot we have this fragment fragment underscore first so this layout we are going to use then we have to pass this view group which is a container so write container and then we have false simple that's it basically this is a root attached to root means false so now inside this this fragment like we can use the activity so if we want to create some hooks inside the fragment we will simply write view dot find view by id so we will pass the id over here otherwise you can see in simple word we cannot write find view by id so this is what i want to explain then we have to return this view make sure to return this view at the end uh, of this on create view do whatever you want uh, between this between the return and between this initialization okay uh, open this dot xml file and let's design this change the text to one and text size to 200 sp use sp for the size and layout gravity will be center uh, okay it's not going to center because the width is mass parent and it should be wrap content width and height so it is at the center now add its text color and it should be white because we are going to change its background so to change its background hover to the design and click on this frame layout search for the background color click on this icon and the one that you are going to use is okay we have designed our first fragment the same way we are going to create our second fragment and design it okay we have designed our uh, second fragment as well so close these fragments in here we have created our first button which is the switch button and then we have created a one fragment so go to the split and as i told you we have to define the fragment name at least one so now we have two fragments so we can set the first fragment as the the first fragment which will be the one and again go back to the design section and click on this infer constraints to add constraints in here uh, it should be like this okay 
okay now we have assigned its id to switch one and this is the fragment container okay, now we have created our one button and one fragment container now go back to the design and in here we need to create first variable which is going to be fragment transaction and let it be fragment transaction so this fragment transaction is equal to get sport sport fragment manager dot begin transaction so because the fragments will uh, perform some transactions change their positions so for that we have to begin the transaction and it should be uh, with get sport fragment manager so if you want to create uh, separately the first variable with uh, for the fragment manager then for the fragment transaction then assign the first fragment manager then fragment transaction so it's up to you but the simple thing is create a fragment transaction variable and simply assign it okay now before moving further we need to uh, access our switch button so we cannot name it switch because switch is basically a keyword inside the java so let it be w and find view by id r dot id dot switch one so now when the user click on this uh, switch or uh, change its state what we want to do is sw which is switch dot set on checked change listener basically it is not on click listener because it is not going to be clicked but it is going to be changed so we are going to check if the uh, state is changed so call set on change check change listener and write new as it is a compound button so write compound and click on this first line saying compound button dot on check change listener and it will automatically create this method for us so in this button uh, we want to access if it is clicked or not so this b is the boolean which will return true or false if b means if true means it is clicked uh, its state is changed to true or to on so this is if and else if it is not so simply cut it from here and paste it inside this if okay if this state is changed first of all we uh, we want to begin this uh, transaction then we want to call the fragment which is basically a java file and we have to create its instance very simple so first fragment is is equal to new i am just creating an instance first fragment that's it you can create it at uh, at the top inside this on create but it's up to you then write first fragment then write fragment transaction dot uh, you can add the fragment if the if you are going to use only one fragment but if you want to replace the fragments then add is not going to work but you have to use this replace keyword and in here you can see we have to pass the container view id and then the fragment itself so the container we have created is r dot id dot fragment container the one inside this main activity which is the fragment container will hold the fragments so we will tell this fragment transaction uh, on this position we want to place the fragment and which fragment the first fragment we have just created which is this one and the last thing is fragment transaction dot commit so we will uh, simply commit all these changes in here and copy inside this else so this time it's not the first fragment but it's second fragment change it to second fragment so it's just a variable name so let it be second and second fragment then commit changes uh, you should have to commit changes otherwise it is not going to work and it will be crashed also for the begin transaction if uh, we have to commit if we commit the changes then we have to begin the transaction each time for each fragment so let's remove these spaces and let's run our application okay as you can see our uh, fragment first fragment by default is appearing with the one and then we have one button so 
when we click on this button uh, it's changed to 2 and now it is changing because on the on we have uh, set to 1 and then on the off we have set to 2 so you can see it is perfectly working if in case you want to change or if you want to add a fragment inside a fragment and uh, let's suppose you are using a navigation drawer and you used fragments instead of activities so uh, in some activity let's suppose you want to use uh, a bottom navigation also so in that case you want to use sub fragments inside the fragment so how we can do that okay open the second fragment because in the second fragment i want to design this let's make it not at the center but at the top so layout gravity will not be at the center but at the center horizontal okay now here we want to i want to create a button and this button will be clicked after that a new activity will be appeared so inside here uh, let's place a fragment right uh, like we have placed in our main activity and this time again it is saying that which fragment you want to show so this is the second fragment so we want to show the first fragment inside the second fragment and its size should be like this and its layout gravity should be bottom click on this and apply so layout gravity will be bottom true so it is at the bottom increase its height a little bit and we have set this uh, fragment with the first by default uh, name is the first fragment so let's run it okay as you can see on means one and when we are going to off it you can see we have a fragment basically it's a second fragment and inside we have the first fragment okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz